Hi, my name is Andres Marmol Perez, clinical researcher at the University of Granada, Spain, and Fulbright researcher at San Jude Children Research Hospital. The work that we presented in 2024 ASCO annual meeting was aimed at investigating the risk of low bone mineral density in survival of childhood cancer with sarcopenia. Sarcopenia phenotype has, in, has been investigated in adult survival of childhood cancer and has been found to be prevalent and also associated with the risk of fragile, including low bone mineral density. In younger survivors, sarcopenia phenotype ha, have been also investigated, but the muscle strength dimension has not been included in the sarcopenia phenotype. Therefore, we aim to investigate which was the risk of low bone mineral density in this population who we know that is at risk of sarcopenia. For the purpose of this study, we used the IBONFIT cohort, which is a randomized control trial aimed at investigating the osteogenic effect of an of a interve exercise intervention on bone health in young, young childhood cancer survivors. For the purpose of this specific study, we used the IBONFIT cohort, which is a randomized control trial aimed at investigating the effects of an osteogenic exercise intervention on bone health in younger childhood cancer survivors. In total, 116 participants were included, from 6 to 18 years old who were exposed to chemotherapy or radiotherapy and were one year after ending the treatment phase. For the sarcopenia phenotype, we follow the, Euro the European Working Group consensus on sarcopenia, although we modify the cutoff point for pediatric population. No sarcopenia was identified as having no muscle strength deficits. Sarcopenia probable was identified as having muscle strength deficits, but no low limb mass. And sarcopenia confirmed was identified as having muscle strength deficits, but also low limb mass. For bone health, we assessed four different regions with DEXA. Total body, total hip, lumbar spine, and femoral neck. The results of our study show that sarcopenia was identified in almost 40% of survivors. Interestingly, we also found that this proportion was higher in male than in females. The main findings of our study show that the risk of having low bone mineral density at total body was almost sevenfold in those who had sarcopenia compared to those who didn't have sarcopenia. In total hip and femoral neck, we found similar results, although the risk was lower between three and five fall, increased risk of having low mineral density. Therefore, we can conclude, although taking into account some limitations, that our study is showing that the risk of low mineral density in survivors with sarcopenia is high. In this sense, resistant training exercise intervention are recommended right after finishing treatment to improve osteosarcopenia phenotype in this population. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.